I am convinced that we are building for the 1%. We are building the world around the 1%. The 1% of people that have the money, the power, and position to even control anything in this world. We are building for them, and in return, the economy is shit. Yeah, that's what I'm convinced. I'm convinced that we're building cities dictated on how they can even spend money. So everything is built off of the convenience for a rich person. That's the best way I can explain it. It's built off the convenience off of someone who's rich. So people with electric cars, people with houses and land, they're all going to benefit off of the new world we're building. All the apartment complexes, all of the new neighborhoods being built, they're being built and taxed over like for half a million dollars for a house. Half a million dollars. Half a million dollars for a house? And it's not even extravagant. It's just a cookie cutter house. Like the 1% of people are the only ones able to experience anything and to appreciate it. To go to a, a Super Bowl game. You know, a Super Bowl game shouldn't be so like out of the ordinary, like everyone should be able to afford to go to a Super Bowl game. It's America. It's America. Why is only the 1% able to buy a ticket to games, to buy a ticket to go see boxing matches? Why is there only 1% of people able to afford anything? We're building a world for the 1% of people. And we're separating the classes. There's no middle class anymore. Obviously, that's gone. There's no, no middle class. It's either you're rich or you got barely anything. That's really what it is. The happy medium, I, I really don't know. I don't think there's a happy medium. I think it's either you really are struggling or you're just getting by, barely scrapping any change of what you make or you're sitting here with loads of money not knowing what to do with it and just spending it on box seats at a Super Bowl. You know, like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to spend my money on. Am I supposed to go to bars? Am I supposed to go to clubs? Am I supposed to, like, even the clubs and the bars, like, they're, the good ones are expensive. The good ones, you need a VIP ticket. You need to be a VIP 1% person to do things in life. Think, think about that. The way the world has switched so badly. I mean, obviously, you can still spend money on what you want to spend it on, but it's not like you can afford it. What I like to say is if you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. So a house. If you can't buy a house twice, you can't afford it. Straight up. So a half a million dollars on a house? Holy crap. What the hell? Like a cookie cutter house barely even has like good trim on it. Like, ah, uh, 1%. The 1% of the world is really getting blessed. All the Tesla warehouses being built, like, like their showcases for the Tesla, the new like monster car or whatever it's called. I don't even know, the cyber car. 1%. How am I supposed to raise children in this economy? How am I supposed to tell my children, even if I have a boy, if I have a son, how am I supposed to tell him, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be the 1% or you're gonna be nothing, basically. Obviously, that's not how you talk to children. Obviously, that's not how you go about it. But in my brain, that's the logic. You know, it's, you're gonna be raised into this economy like oh god i can't even imagine raising children in this like i can't because if i'm not the one percent i'm definitely not passing the one percent on to my child you know so that's all that's another reason why i'm waiting to have children because i want to feel like i got my shit figured out at least my situation my my house where i'm living my stability and if I don't have that figured out, my children are definitely not going to have that figured out in this economy. Hell no. Hell no. No. 
they're going to be forced to figure it out. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm being forced to figure it out because, I mean, my parents didn't figure it out. They're not the 1%. You know, they're still scrounging change, paying their rent. Well, my mom has a mortgage, so my mom did good. My mom actually healed her traumas and she's getting really better. And me and my mom have a good relationship now. We have a, we have, we're fine. But overall, I was forced into this. I was forced into this economy to figure it out. And I do not want to carry that onto my children. I do not want to give into it because that's what they want you to do. They want you to deal with it. You know, like if you're going to deal with it, you might as well deal with it while you're trying to get rich or you're trying to put your head above the water. Like just having your head above water is a flex to be able to say, yeah, I'm able to pay my bills is a flex nowadays. You know, there's people that can't pay their bills. Like there's people really like struggling and this is not the type of world to live in. Like what, why are we making it such a harder life? We're making it harder than it has to be. Obvious, not obviously, but I feel like it's from the pandemic, you know, like the amount of money they spent to try to keep everything afloat business wise, like all the businesses were shutting down, the non-essential workers weren't working and they were trying to make their money back. But it's like they're putting it into a worse generation, like it's going to be worse, it's going to get worse, they're just separating everybody. Everyone is separated and we're all struggling mentally. Even the 1% people are struggling mentally because how did they get there? They had to sacrifice something. You have to sacrifice something to get something. Everything has a price. Anything worth having, there's a price to pay. So if you are the 1%, you definitely paid for something. Sacrifice something in your life, whether it be people or connection with yourself or your health or whatever it is you sacrifice something and another term for that that people like to say is selling your soul that's another trendy topic to talk about it's like selling your soul oh they sold their soul mm. you know people like to talk about celebrities in that way or public figures or you know people that got got it going on right i see it as they didn't sell their soul they sacrificed something that they didn't, they didn't initially want to sacrifice. Or they initially didn't think of sacrificing. They ended up sacrificing something that took a piece from them. And that's what it takes. That's what it takes nowadays in this world to be able to enjoy anything in life. You have to sacrifice something huge in yourself in order to even be in that realm of 1% of people to do the things you want to do. Like to be able to afford to go to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, all these like big super supermarket chains nowadays. It's like, I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to Aldi. I'm going to these cheap places because who am I to say that I'm freaking shopping at Whole Foods? Like what? One percenters can say that they can shop at Whole Foods. But guess what? They sacrifice something. There's a price to pay for everything. And... And I'm not saying that being rich is the end-all be-all and that's the total goal for everybody and it should be. No, I'm saying in this economy, you have no choice but to categorize people in such a way because you just simply can't afford it. It's either you can afford it or you can't afford it. There is no in-between, seriously. And that's just what it's come to nowadays. And... I guess it's kind of a rant, not really. It's just me realizing how much we are, every single job we are working towards is building for the future. And the future is not us. The future is our kids, their children, right? That's what we're, we're born into. We're born into just working for the future because who are we to appreciate the present, right? Who are we to really appreciate our lives? Like, why can't we just appreciate what's going on right now and be able to afford it? We can't. We can't. They have forbidden it. The economy, government, whatever, whoever you want to blame, which is probably the people, we the people, right? We the people of America, because this is about America. This is an American problem. 
Um, shit, it could be in Dubai too. Dubai, Dubai is creating a city for the 1%. So that's, that's a huge example for the world at least, but I'm not going to talk about the whole world. I haven't been around the world, but I've been around the block in America. Okay. And America is the same shit. Every corner, every block, it's the same shit, nothing new. So yeah, we're building the 1% here. I'm sure it's like that in a lot of other places, but in America is getting a little overhand out of hand it's getting too much i just want to feel like i can promise my children some some nice futures you know but i'm over here struggling trying to figure it out oh and this is like a little sparkling canadian water it's pretty good that's it today i wanted to talk about the economy a little bit and how it's just affecting everyone it's affecting your decisions it's affecting how you feel it's affecting your life it's affecting everything you do to this day, right now. Yeah, thanks guys, I'll see you tomorrow.